Hi traders and welcome to Forex Weekly Recap. Today, always the same time, Monday. And yes, weekly recap will continue. So don't worry. We are always having uh, the same webinar on Mondays. It's uh, our proprietary webinar and trading ideas and setups. Euro dollar, pound dollar, the Australian dollar, dollar yen and the BDC dollar. So today we will see results from previous week and uh, we will see what's going on uh, today. I hope that uh, we will make money. Uh, we have one trade running from our live uh, Telegram channel. So uh, let's let's see. Let's rock 2019. Okay, guys. Also, one more thing. Last year, uh, Chris and I won the best Forex award uh, while we worked for Admiral Markets. Uh, it was 2018 by Forex3.com. So uh, I hope that uh, uh, we will also be probably nominated uh, this year. And uh, when the time comes, of course, I will ask you to vote for us as always. And let's keep uh, 2019 rocking as always, guys. So uh, I will, uh, of course, show you results. First, we go with, uh, with results from previous week. Then we go with setups. And then I will answer your questions. Okay, so before we start, uh, always uh, there is disclaimer, CFD and Forex are leveraged products can result in losses that exceed your de deposits. So please have in mind that uh, you should pre-calculate the risk before you trade. All leveraged products are risky and have in mind that this is my personal opinion and trades. So uh, everything you see here is my personal opinion and trades and take care of risk, guys. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, <laughs> see the comment from David. Hey, Nenad, win the best buy and sell side analysis, not at your the head of ECS. I love his speed reading. Well, honestly, I'm not reading this. I, I know this by heart. I don't read to anything. You know, one truth, guys, I need to tell you something. Uh, I don't know how many of you watch me on my seminars, but uh, I never, ever prepare for my seminars. Never, ever. I just know what slides are and i just need to take a look at a slide and i know what i should be talking about and i don't know i i, I simply am you know i always speak from my heart uh, what i know what i learned and uh, what my experience is so i never prepare i never pre prepare prepare i never uh, learn something you know well for example i'm not reading the text and i don't memorize it i'm just speaking from my heart automatically you know it's like Whatever comes up in my mind, I will tell you. It's not like I'm preparing anything. The only thing that I prepare for is the market and uh, entry points, exit points. But I'm not reading anything of this. I just know it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you, guys. Really, I love you all. So, uh, you are my strength and you are my power. Whenever I see you coming here and uh, trading with us, I, I, feel, I feel really, really great. I, that's the truth, really. So, today, trading rules, uh, always the same thing. Give price a breathing room. Uh, we enter in the POC zone. Uh, the POC zone is called the point of confluence. That is the zone where we make entries. And usually the zone is 20 pip away from the price that I give you. So, it can be somewhere in there. Uh, equities, add a spread to your stop loss and for commodities also. For every what you trade, guys, add the spread to your stop loss. It's important. Very, very important. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will uh, also, guys, I will uh, to also do one more analysis today because you asked for it. It's gold, Ali, so don't worry. It's the BDC and the gold. So I will do the gold, too. I will give you my views. And I will tell you where to enter, where to exit. Uh, I took a look, but I didn't uh, uh, wrote, I didn't uh, write it down. I will do that uh, just a little bit later. Positional trades are trend trades, so we enter trend trades as positional trades. Uh, when you see all alternative trades, it's a counter trend trade. Uh, breakout trades as counter trade levels, levels can be traded independently of any position. <clears throat> also, uh, to, it means that, for example, if you have a buy or a sell position. And I wrote, uh, for example, on the slide, uh, breakout trade. You can trade independently. It doesn't matter if you have if you have already had one trade or not. So you can you can add that uh, position. Also, uh, for equities and commodities, protect your profits uh, around important levels and uh, use trading stop. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. 
Scalp trades uh, should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. Uh, and everything uh, that you see uh, with my scalp trades or with any other uh, trades, uh, you can uh, see it's, uh, everything is calculated by historical levels and uh, Camarilla. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trends, so you might find uh, other trend-based entries and the term pips pool, that is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on my setups. Okay, it's clear, I hope, and uh, I hope that everything is clear. Uh, these are results for uh, last week. So Euro dollar was uh, either a 20 pip win or minus 40 pip loss. Uh, pound dollar was a loss of uh, 50 pips. Uh, the Australian dollar was good for at least 70 pips because it hit the target and it proceeded uh, above even uh, much higher, higher than I uh, put my target. Uh, now, uh, yeah, the dollar yen was good for 70 pips. Uh, the BDC dollar uh, was good for... 45 pips, so basically total pip pool uh, was in between uh, 95 and uh, 155 pips. Not uh, a lot of pips, but for example, uh, it was good because uh, the, the, the day was ranging. Also, today, uh, dollar yen trade, we already have, we are uh, long a dollar yen. It's like, I don't know, eight pips in profit. The price is very slow, really, really very slow, and I hope that it will get into profits. Um, Mm. Uh, Robin is saying today's been rocking. Yeah, I mean, I traded only dollar yen. I didn't, I mean, I did an analysis for a GBP dollar. If you read my analysis, GBP dollar, but I didn't trade it. Uh, I, I was already in dollar yen trade and uh, I said, okay, I will wait a little bit, maybe more for the GBP dollar to close. And then by the time I saw the GBP dollar, it has already, it had already gone. So I missed this trade, but it was good indeed. Uh, Robin said that he traded the Australian dollar in New Zealand. Well, I, I still, I maybe I picked the wrong pair. I don't know. I, I am still in dollar yen trade. It's very, very slow. But I hope that I will take take it. And yeah, well done, Robin. If you took the Australian and New Zealand, I didn't expect that the Australian dollar in New Zealand will actually make any movement uh, during London session because uh, you know usually during London session the Australian dollar in New Zealand are very calm. Uh, maybe. I don't know, maybe uh, if you traded Robin during Asian session, if you traded the, the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar during Asian session, maybe then you made pips, but I'm not sure uh, if I saw it correctly that uh, it was during London session. I don't know. I just am stuck now in dollar yen trade and yeah. A day in uh, board. Uh, okay, great. I mean, guys, whatever gives you the money, it's, it's, it's excellent, excellent. Yeah, Ali, I, they made the upper gaps. It's called the runaway gap. And yeah, I don't trade usually when I see the gap. I want the gap to close or something, then I trade it. Yeah, early this morning. So it was Asian. Basically, it was Asian session trade. So yeah, I mean, it can happen. Uh, I usually sleep during Asian session, so I'm not trading it actively. But yeah, I mean, yeah, really from time to time, the Australian, those Pacific crosses can really give you great trades. But whatever, guys. Uh, this is what happened last week. Let me show you results, then I will uh, move to today's setups, okay? Uh, let me just adjust my screens, my camera. Yeah, this is okay, I guess. Something like this. Uh, you can see me there. Yep. Yeah was a big gap robin you traded the gap i mean uh it's very specific uh the uh, gap trading is very specific i honestly i don't trade gaps very often from time to time i can trade a gap but uh, not very often yeah uh okay i will i will answer guys your question so i i remember david and ali asking uh, asking me a few things i will just show you uh, this week setups and last week results and then I will answer your questions. Euro dollar ranging, guys. Uh, yeah, last week was ranging. Uh, I said sell. So if you actually and buy, so basically, yeah, what you could have done is to buy here, and this was the chance, the last chance from this level to go long. If you had long here, you should have at least protected your pips. I hope that you made anything from this trade. Uh, the GBP dollar was. Uh, we had a sell and a buy trade opportunity. Uh, basically, uh, what happened was a buy trade at this spot, and we lost this trade. The Australian dollar uh, on this trade, it was a clear winner, excellent. 
excellent uh, winner uh, you see the price dropped exactly to our poc zone bank it should it to the upside the dollar yen uh, also a great uh, trade uh, we had a long position this spot bank it should it up and the btc dollar the last uh, chance for our trade was uh, to actually sell it here so if you sold it here the only thing that you could have made some money is this uh, double bottom here that was good for 45 pips then the price went up and dropped so bdc dollar is not that that great uh still i mean traders like to see the bdc dollar uh i will do this analysis but i will also do uh well the the gb uh, the the gold as as ali is asking for and also i know that you wanted to see the gold analysis so i will do it yeah and i will make it official i will make a slide buy here uh, and sell there so no problem bang exactly so the euro dollar guys for this week 3090 possible sell stop 1420 tp 1320 alternative buy 1320 stop 2080 tp 3090 so let me open the screen uh this is okay dollar yen trade also guys uh if you join a little bit uh, later now guys we are also having let me just check something yeah definitely this is also now qualified to be uh camarilla make the light trade yeah i mean you see this is camarilla make the light now also it was the mtf and the mtf and the uh, light are aligned clear uh gbp dollar trade guys uh we have a long position and uh, not gbp dollar dollar yen basically we're i'm long 113.47 46 actually so yeah it's not a lot of pips now but i'm expecting something to happen maybe during asian sessions it's only 10 pips now but let's see i mean the the mtf and the light are aligned now and we are running positive now okay on this trade okay camera mcd light yeah and just a quick glimpse guys for all of you who are uh, with ecs live guys i'm doing a, a new module it's called uh, Camarilla MACD Wiz. It's based on our proprietary Wiz tools. I modified uh, Wiz a bit to suit uh, Camarilla levels. And uh, this will be free module for all of you who bought Cam full Camarilla MACD course. Uh, as always, update uh, when I finish with this. Uh, this will rock, guys. I mean, uh, now it's in testing phase. Uh, so far, uh, I gave three trades on my ECS live channel. I didn't call it Camarilla McDivis because our traders will ask, would have asked me, okay, then what is this? I, uh, but three of three trades were successful. So let's see. And also it's qualified now for a long trade, uh, this one too. So guys, I think this will rock. This template rocks and these are all proprietary indicators. Now I said for this HMA, uh, this will rock guys. Yeah. Okay, I will tell you, Okay, uh, when the time comes, uh, what's going on? But this will be a, a Camarilla Mag the uh, module final probably uh, with, and it's based on with levels and Camarillas. So you will see, guys. I will be doing uh, also uh, on my ECS channel, uh, on my ECS uh, Telegram channel uh, live trades. So yeah, you can also join. But let's get back to our uh, webinars. So this is the euro dollar. Uh, euro dollar, as I said, uh, euro dollar is. Uh, I will open now uh, the MTF template. Uh, it's ranging definitely. Uh, the euro dollar is ranging, uh, and uh, you see here, basically the price is stuck now between these two Bollinger Band uh, lines. Uh, yeah, you see range in price section but i would be selling from this spot okay this is the atr top previous sellers also the upper band is here so i would be selling if the price gets there wait for reversal pattern open lower time frame see let's say if, if you have your entry method but definitely this is uh, there is a potential for a nice sell trade euro dollar yeah ali saying that uh, with Camarilla McDivis looks very good. Yes, it will be successful. And uh, for now, three out of three trades were successful. Of course, I'm back testing it and I'm only uh, doing very, very high probability trades, but it will be, of course, uh, filtered out. And uh, when I expect it to be ready, maybe in uh, 15 to 20 days. But let's see. Yeah, 
David, let's keep it for uh, later. Uh, counter trend trades. Now let's get back to uh, three setups, five setups, including gold. So I will also do a gold analysis. The GBP dollar ranging sell 2850, stop 2090, TP 2685. Uh, this is also a turn, alternative buy 2685, stop 2640, TP 2850. So the GBP dollar also uh, 2685, guys. You see, big drop. And if you read my analysis today, I hope that uh, you made some money. And I said I didn't call it on my Telegram channel, but I did the analysis. And also my analysis was published on Elite Currency and uh, on uh, Forex uh, Street also. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, very, very, very successful uh, regarding GBP. And I think that the GBP dollar could also reject again. So uh, I would sell around 28.50. Yeah, look at this, guys. Uh, if the price now it's going down, but if the price gets here, it's a sell, guys. If the price gets there, it's a sell. And also... Let me show you uh, my analysis. Just give me a few seconds. Uh, I still keep the same opinion about uh, the GBP dollar that it uh, it's very headline uh, risk uh, prone uh, because every single headline and mention of Brexit uh, actually uh, moves uh, uh, the GBP dollar by a huge extent. And this is it, guys. If the price drops lower, like if it drops uh, around 28.65, uh, this is uh, L4 level. This will be very, very good to go long, I think. So let's wait for uh, the GBP door. Okay. Uh, now the Australian dollar. Uh, 73.20 is a buy position. Stop loss 71.80, TP 74.10, sell is 74.10, stop loss 74.50, TP 73.20. So the Australian dollar is in uptrend at this spot and at this point. So uh, I think that if the price drops a little bit lower here, okay, it's close to middle band, it's a buy trade, guys. This is a buy trade if it gets there. If it doesn't get, then pay attention to 74.10. If the price goes to 74.10, around this level will be a sell. Okay, so pay attention to it. Dollar yen, we are in a buy trade. As I said, my entry 113.46. Stop is 114, uh, 113.15, TP 113.90. Sell is there, but we are already in buy trade, so I'm keeping a buy position. Uh, as I already explained, I don't need to uh, explain more. Uh, it's uh, everything is aligned. The MTF template, the Wiz, temp, uh, Camarillo MACD Wiz, and Camarillo MACD Light, uh, all are pointing uh, to the upside, and this is good, and I like it. So we are currently 12 pips in profit, but let's. Wait, of course, uh, this is nothing. It's four hour and one hour template. So I, I want really much more than 12 pips. I mean, right? So you, see, you can see it here. Live account, buy. You can check also results on uh, my FX book. I don't know where is. Yeah, my FX book is running. So guys, yeah, everything is transparent as always. And I'm using this opportunity, guys, if you... Uh, if you have, uh, let's say, uh, spare time, you can always uh, leave a good uh, review at uh, Forex Peace Army. Uh, we have like 40 reviews. And of course, if you're happy with our service uh, and it doesn't take you uh, time, uh, I hope that you will leave a review. Uh, Ali saying he left a review. So guys, thank you. Thanks a lot. And if you still ha uh, haven't... Uh, Put a review, then do it, guys, and support us also on uh, forexpeacearmy.com. Uh, Hi, Ilya. Ilya has just joined, so we are doing uh, the analysis. I will roll the slides later, so you will also see. And we are in a buy trade here. You can see it here. We are in a buy trade. Uh, dollar yen uh, was uh, Camarilla MACD, MTF trade. Uh, also, it's supported by uh, Camarilla MACD Lite. And uh, future module Camarilla MACD uh, Wiz. Okay, so uh, yeah, 
this is and this will be a new module that will be released in a month uh, just before the new year okay and this will be very very powerful i was thinking to call it ultimate or uh, something but it's called camera make the whiz okay uh now uh let's get back yeah and the good thing is guys uh, with this you will be able to trade both trend and counter trend on uh, four hour uh template and uh, four hour time frame and possibly daily time frame okay um next one is uh the bdc dollar uh 41.95 is a sell position uh and uh, stop loss uh, 42.95 tp 37.30 uh buys 3730 stop 3630 tp 4038 uh yeah but this is yeah this will be modified for camarilla MACD, of course uh it still needs to uh, be in confluence with camarilla MACD, and definitely it uh, should be huge uh so far three out of three trades have uh, have been successful but i'm of course back testing it i'm filtering it out only the best trades are taken on live channel uh this is a bdc uh setup so 40 90 4195 sell and 3730 is a buy and uh, the bitcoin is actually yeah let me open the chart no not a naked chart i will open uh, one hour you see uh if the price drops a little bit lower you should uh, you could buy it at 30 cent 30 and 41.95 so it should drop here or it should get here and then it's a time for a sell weekly top and finally gold analysis uh for all of you who trade gold i will do it live xau usd one hour template this is a long setup and i would say somewhere here 12 25 65 this is clear by definitely okay guys i will now make a slide so it's a gold slide the zone is 12 around 12 22. so gold is in uptrend stop loss should be put at 12 15. The target is 12.40. Okay. Okay, this is gold. Yeah, I think this is a good level to go long. I'm not sure what a decision will be. Okay, guys, so this is goal set up. Now I will roll the slides and then I will uh, ask you questions. And you will ask me questions, sorry. Okay. So this is Euro dollar. This is pound dollar. This is the Australian dollar. This is dollar yen. And this is the BDC dollar. Finally, gold. Okay. Uh, Ilya is asking, uh, whoa, okay, let me see if I had any other questions before that. Is there a news event on Wednesday? Uh, if there is news event, guys, of course, do not trade if you don't feel comfortable. 
and always protect your profits if you are in a trade. So I hope that uh, some setups will actually go before uh, Wednesday. I think there is some news on Wednesday. Uh, let me check. No, it's GDP. It's the Australian dollar GDP, actually. And statement is tonight, okay? Cash rate tonight. So, guys, this is a risky trade. Please have in mind that uh, this setup might be invalidated if anything unexpected happens during uh, the uh, Australian uh, dollar cash rate announcement. So have in mind that it's a risky just because of that. But technical levels are clear, technical levels. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I don't think there will be a hike. Market uh, is not uh, predicting a hike at least. Yeah, and I think that uh, hike is still uncertain because of still there is a truce, but trade war is going on between the US and China. Uh, okay, uh, Ilya is saying, uh, yeah, it's okay, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you should keep Ali a long trade that much because at least on one hour time frame it shows that it can reject. But on longer time frames, uh, for example, you're talking about daily time frame. You see the price is still ranging. There is no clear trend. So I would definitely wait with, with the decision, really. What about the New Zealand dollar? Is it better long than the Australian dollar? Well, at this spot, guys, you need to wait for uh, the gap to close. So there is a potential for a counter trend trade. But until I see that this low has been actually broken to the downside, I don't think that they, we will see a, do, a New Zealand dollar long, uh, short. So we need to see there is a divergence here. Uh, trend line still hasn't been broken. So we need to see a U-turn on the price before we actually go short. But this is a potential for a short trade, indeed. Yeah. This is potential for a counter trend trade. I think that both the Australian dollar news and New Zealand, you, you should wait, guys. The Australian dollar is risky because of the event, but New Zealand dollar is uptrend, but it needs to close the gap. Robin is saying, I'm expecting 100 pip bullish rally on Swiss CN. Uh, let's see. First, uh, we need to check the range. The range is only 58 pips, so do not expect something big to happen over the day. This is still very, very rangy price action. You see, very rangy price action. Up, down, up, down. It looks bullish, much more bearish, but it's actually because of this W, this is Adam and Adam pattern. Yeah, Adam and Adam. So this could go up indeed. Uh, Daniel is asking, what do you think about GBP already? Yeah, there is a potential move for a gap close, but the price needs to go above this level. If it drops, it can make an invert cannon shoulders and then go up. But this you just pay attention to this level here. If it doesn't reject, then it should go more to the upside. Robin Ilya is saying Swiss and Yen are the currencies to hide when horror on the stock market comes. Why train this? Maybe he's trading intraday. I think intraday setup is that. But Again, David is asking about the gap. Let me check the question. I read a lot of Barbara Rockefeller books. She also talks about waiting for runaway gap to close. Yes, because let's say that this is a runaway gap, for example. And you entered along exactly when the gap opened. And let's say that next couple of days or weeks, the price simply doesn't close the gap and it's going down. So you will be stopped out and you will lose heavily for that. 
Barbara Rockefeller is right. Uh, we were friends and on uh, Twitter, and we had uh, we communicated back in time. She knows what she's speaking about, and I agree with her. You need to wait for a runaway gap. Definitely, you need to wait for a runaway gap to close because runaway gap is a gap that simply shoots uh, above or below the level, and it doesn't retrace. So you need to wait for a retracement for a gap to close, then decide about the next move. And I agree. So you need to be very careful. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, just ask. Dollar yen is going our way now. But definitely it needs to close above uh this uh weekly level this is actually daily level D daily h3 if it closes then it's good also here on the wish template it looks like it's going towards 313 uh, 77.80 this is good, huge confluence if it breaks it will go more to the upside uh if it doesn't close it will close yeah every gap is closed david but we don't know whether it will close and I personally uh, have few lessons about uh, gaps. Uh, common gap is tradable. A breakaway gap, runaway gap, a, a gap is not tradable. Only common gap and one more gap. It's called exhaustion gap. So those two gaps are actually uh, tradable, not runaway and breakaway gap. So you need to stay out of trades. This is a clear breakaway gap here on the, these pairs. This is now a runaway gap, you see? There was no pullback to close the gap. Only common gap and exhaustion gap are tradable. Other gaps stay away from this. Because you see, the price didn't close. It just kept going range. It ran away from, uh, from uh, weekly open. Usually gaps in Forex market appear during weekly open. Yeah, and one more thing, as Ilya is saying, the bigger the gap, the more days needs to be closed because you see the average daily range on the Australian dollar yen is 74 pips. Now the gap currently is 60 pips away. So it will take a full day to close the gap or at least uh, two sessions. This is, I don't know about a pattern island top, I just know that I would wait for a counter trend confirmation and possibly we might go short, but not now. You need to wait, not now. Island top, never heard of it really. To me, this looks like it, it could reject because this is the master candle here. This is the master candle. It was no follow through breakout to the downside or upside. So do not, uh, can we bear on a downside position and attempt to close the gap? Not now. I don't see any points that we should short now. Not now. Yeah. Ilya, dollar yen long, the Australian dollar long, Australian dollar yen strong long. Yeah, do not short it now. You need confirmation. Divergence, uh, rejection, uh, and uh, clear trend line break. So pull out the trend line, and if you see or a channel, I don't know, it, I use trend lines. And if you see that the trend line has been broken, try to go short. Uh, David is asking, did you memorize all the Bulkovsky patterns? Yes, most of them. From Steve Nissen, from myself, I have also a few proprietary patterns like T89 and Lavez, but uh, that's another story, and I know 90% of Bulkovsky parents, indeed. Yeah. Okay, so you see, guys, uh, Euro dollar, dollar yen is actually going up. I hope that it will close above this level and we should see a continuation. Yeah, and this one too really could see some nice movement. Yes, uh, to, to, this week is NFP. And it could be yen weakness and dollar yen strength. Dollar yen strength. Yeah, David, it's good to know parents. It's not crucial, but it's okay. 
Ilya, uh, there is a website, Bulkovsky Parents or something. It's a guy who actually promotes uh, different candlestick parents. And uh, I think that he also gave them names, some of them. So Bulkovsky Parents, you just Google and you will find it easily. So guys, basically this is it. If you have anything more to ask, just go ahead. If not, then we can call it a day. Yeah, Ilya is saying Bukowski sounds more like vodka. It's actually Bukowski, Charles Bukowski, a famous writer. Yeah, if you saw the movie uh, with the Mickey Rourke, uh, the, the name was Barfly. It, it, it was done uh, basically by the book, and it's, it's a based on a story. Uh, yeah, it was based on a story, if I remember correctly. And you can read a lot about, uh, not Bukowski, I read a couple of his books, they're very good. But actually also uh, Bulkowski, Balkowski, or how is, is it pronounced? I'm not sure. Is it Balkowski or Bulkowski? Uh, you, can, you can read uh, a lot, uh, but a lot of candlestick different. I will actually show you his website. I mean, uh, it's, it's correct. It's okay, because I uh, read a lot about it. And most of them I knew, but, you know, he gave them some uh, fancy names so basically it's actually parents yeah i cannot find it right now but you, you can type it uh, balkovsky or something and yeah i mean uh, not books uh, it's uh <laughs> david i i was talking about charles bukowski yeah uh, his books actually uh uh women i i think uh, there was a name of the book that i read the last one let me just check yeah um yeah women from 1978 yeah read it it's interesting <laughs> if you like that style it's interesting yeah women and yeah this is from Ilya uh, book guys you know what i I read a lot of books also from Forex, but nothing is like experience. Uh, I might say, guys, okay, let's open a chart. And I might say, okay, this can be a sort of, for example, just for example, uh, this can be called uh, Adam and Adam pattern. So, uh, you know, it's it's simple, guys. If you see, if you know all uh, familiar patterns, like W, M patterns, then it will be easy for you if, it's just modification of some patterns. For example, this reminds me of Adam and Adam pattern. But it's actually, in its core, this is W pattern here, you see? W. But because it has pin uh, pin bars uh, uh, like its legs, it's called Adam and Adam. But you don't need to know all of them. Uh, guys, everything is about risk management. If you have a good system and good entries, the only thing that you should have is a good risk management. And that's basically the core of uh, successful Forex trading. Uh, you can make 100 pips, but if you make one bad trade, 20 pip loss, but while being over leveraged, you will negate all those 100 pips that you made. And then your psychology will start to work, and then you will start revenging, making it up, because you cannot stand withstand the loss. And because you lost three months of trading for a single trade, that is how traders lose money, guys. Chasing trades. Be clear in mind, listen to what we have to say, trade with us, come to our webinars. This is crucial. Uh, yeah, uh, with $500 uh, account, definitely I need to make a blog about it and uh, you will read it. You need to go step by step. You cannot, uh, because if you make 2, 5, 10% on $500, it's still 10%, but it's not the same money as if you were trading 50,000. You know, it's different, guys. Different. Yeah. Robin is saying, with good risk and money management, all you need is, is a die. <laughs> yeah, basically, 50-50% of a chance. So, uh, with Camarilla MACD, you have 70 to 80% of chance that you will win the trade. And I guess with SWOT, too. With a die 50 50, but if you have a good risk management, really you can just randomly enter trade. So that is why I'm, I'm sticking to my methods 
and very, very, very uh, strong risk management. But we will see. Uh, yeah, you have my uh, my fixed book running now from Temrila make the uh, trades, and that's it. Uh, Ali, yeah, uh, Ilya is saying I make this following Nenad's Monday recap. Uh, this is this is a trade only when short trend and never long till Brexit. Five hundred to thousand in three months. Well done. Yeah, well done. I will. I will actually memorize this. I did a snapshot. Uh, David is asking when will Camarilla Wiz will be out roughly. I think in some fifteen to twenty days before the new year. Definitely, definitely before the new year. And this is how it looks. You see. yeah so guys i think this would be all uh for today uh price action training school is uh, wednesday so guys uh enjoy <laughs> yeah this looks good and it will be great let's keep this dollar yen running <laughs> ah adam is asking would you roll I wouldn't. I'm not a gambler. I'm a bad gambler. I just know how to trade. In gambling, not that good, really. Okay. Yeah, it's compounding. Ilya is basically talking about compounding. He said he's saying I started first week with 0 0.01 and so on. Uh, third and fourth 0 0.02. Last week 0 0.10. It's called uh, a compounding, and it's actually very very good because when you add profits to profits, you increase lot size. And it's it's a good compounding, yes, indeed. So, guys, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I will be here with you soon. I wish you a great day, a great rest of the week. Uh, love you all, and see you soon. Cheers, guys. As always, trade safe.